What is going on everybody and welcome to part 7 of our Python Plays Grand Theft Auto tutorial series. In this video what we're going to be doing is implementing um, the kind of I guess first attempt at an artificial intelligent-ish um, driving uh, alg algorithm. So, um, so one thing I kind of noticed in the last video was the following. Let me uh, just move this stuff out of the way first. So on our road, we, you know, we have the two lanes, and then if we get too far over to one side, the, well, that now it's not finding any lines. There we go. Um, but if it does fi happen to find two, two lanes, it finds, or, or like two lines on, the, if we're too far over to the right or too far over to the left, it'll find both lines on the same side, right? And we can do the same thing over here, right? It finds both lines over there now, okay? So then I started wondering, well, hmm, what if our algorithm is simply an algorithm that uh, looks for, actually it doesn't even have to do much at all. Once we find the lanes, all we really have to do is, when we have those two lanes, all we have to do is ask, do those two lines have the same slope? So the idea is, Basically, if the lines are, like if both slopes are negative, that means they're to the left of us, so we should go right. And if both slopes are positive, that means they're both to the right of us, and we should go left. And beyond that, nothing else matters. <laughs> um, and so I wanna just try that really simple logic before we try to get too far in depth with like, let's try to center the screen and all this stuff. What if that's, if we could just get away with that simple of a task? So the way we're gonna do that is by going through the code real quick. Let me, um, we'll make it a little larger so everybody can see what, what's going on. Um, if you don't have the code, this is code from the very, you know, the previous tutorial. Um, but there's the text-based version of the tutorial and then also it'll be on GitHub so you can get the code from wherever you need to. Now in this crazy rat's nest draw lines function, uh, basically down here, 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 somewhere, where is it? <laughs> where is lane one? Okay, here, the ID. Basically lane one and lane two ID, the IDs were the slopes. So. Actually, that's all we need. We're just going to return those as well. So we'll do lane one. Oop, you can't see that. Uh, lane one. So in this return, right, we're returning the two coordinates, but also lane one ID and lane two ID. Cool. So we return those. And then now, where did we return them? Here. So then that's actually slope one and slope two. So I'm just going to call it M1, M2. Now this is a try and accept, and historically all it did was um, draw lines if it could find them, but as you've seen, sometimes it doesn't find them. So we're going to have to just set some defaults first. So I'm going to say m1 equals 0 and m2 equals 0. In this case, um, that way um, we'll have some defaults that won't screw us up if for whatever reason we're not finding anything, but hopefully that'll be fine. Then, at the bottom, we're going to return process image, original image, and then again, we're going to return M1 and M2. And then, now down here, is where we can make our decisions. But, first, our decisions are going to be go straight, go left, go right, whatever. Now, this is all going to change, almost certainly. But first, let's just, let's just do something simple. Like So, we're going to define straight, um, and that will be uh, press, press key, um, W. Now, every time you go straight, straight means you're definitely not turning, <laughs> okay? So, so, so what we're gonna do, every time we go straight, we're also gonna release key, and I think I've not imported this. Or have we not imported either of these? <gasps> we haven't imported, e no, we did, right here. So press key, also do comma, release key. Okay, so press key W, and then release key A, and then also release key D. So that's if we wanna go straight. But then we've, we might also wanna turn, so I'm gonna paste, paste, and then I'm also gonna paste one more thing. Now, um, we got uh, left. Now if we go left, what key do we wanna press? Well, we wanna press 
A, and then we want to release forward, most likely. We might not actually want to release forward, but I'm just going to throw that in there for now. Um, and then if we want to go right, we actually want to press key D, release A, and release W. And then this one, um, I'm going to call slow your roll. <laughs> and this means we want to slow down. So we're going to release all the keys. <laughs> now, um, okay, so now we have the actual driving directions. Uh, the other thing we want to do is we're going to do that, um, let's see, for i, for I in list range um, four and list uh, colon colon negative one to count down. Print, print i plus one time dot sleep one. So that'll give us a nice countdown before this thing starts. Now, <clears throat> I think it's process image, right? Returned. This was pro yeah. So process image now returns two more things: slope one, slope two. So that's here. So we also are going to take m1, m2. Now, finally, after we show everything, um, let's do. Uh, and also let's go ahead and. I'm trying to decide, we might comment out this one and just keep this one, because this one has the lines drawn on it. That might help improve frame rate. Now, we're going to ask if m1 is less than zero and m2 is less than zero, i.e. both slopes are negative, then we want to go right. L if m1, make sure it's on screen, m1 is greater than zero and m2 is greater than zero. This is some great AI. Oh my goodness, I love it. <laughs> Let's go left. And finally, else, we'll go straight. Now, I'm tempted, I, I can already imagine we're gonna end up going way too fast and I don't know, this is, this is almost certain to fail, but at least give us a slight idea of how this is going to work. So, and the other thing we could do, actually, is we could control the speed and just let it control um, the turn. So I might, I might do that if, if we're running into trouble. But first, let's just, let's just try it. It's too exciting. So M1, M2, looks good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Countdown. I'm ready. Okay, it's doing good. Uh-oh, okay, staying in the lane. <laughs> it's doing maybe too much turning, but it's still going. Got a warning, I'm not sure what that just said. So it's got the two, so now it's just turning and it's never going forward. I'll, I'll give it an aid. There we go, and we're off. <laughs> oh, this is too funny. Go, little scooter, go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yes, oh man. This is actually working pretty, like, it's not great, but it's working. Avoid those, no, no. <laughs> Navigating the turn is hard. There we go. We're still, we're still running. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm wondering if maybe what we should do is let it roll forward, um, even when turning. And then also have some sort of functionality for, I'm just going to give it a push now because it's just taking too long. So I'll just, in, in, in fact, I'll just keep holding forward and just see how it does. Oh, oh, we're freaking, no, we're done. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. That's too great. <laughs> uh yeah, that's why we picked a slow vehicle, but yeah. Wow, we are we still falling? Are you kidding? Oh, man. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Take two. So now what I'm going to try to do is see if that was indeed the problem. Like, uh, if... 
Um, if we can just kind of modulate the speed, not go so fast. But I think also part of the problem is every time we take a turn, we might want to we might want to make the turn and then release relatively quick. I'm thinking like you might not want to hold that turn for very long. So I just wonder if we should throw a release key um, very quickly. Like if we just want to tap that key real quick, but not hold it down because the, the problem with GTA is like, and especially driving with a keyboard, is the turns are just so fast and so violent. It's just like a full on turn every time. Anyway, that was cr that was actually I'm pretty content with the the logic and how well we did. It might have looked pretty bad. I mean, we probably killed ourselves, but um, I'm actually letting it drive itself right now. It does pretty good on a straight. <laughs> uh, turn, 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 turn! Oh, we made it! <laughs> wow, we almost did not make that turn though. That would have been bad. He's doing good. I'm impressed. Turn. Nice. That's actually working pretty well. He's gonna get, he's probably gonna go off up here. He's getting too fast. Let's see how he does. No, no, no. Oh, oh, yep, yeah, he's done. It's over. It's game over. <laughs> uh, so we got going a little too fast, and I'm trying to decide maybe what we should do is like after so many straights, like if if we've pressed go. Wow, what if he actually gets himself out of this? It's kind of moving, but not enough. But I bet if we just go forward, he'll, he'll solve his problems. Maybe not. Maybe not. Nope, he's going back up the mountain. Anyway, I think what we could do is possibly um, log how many forwards we've done. And then maybe either one thing we could do is rather than trying to slow the speed, we could turn more sharply based on how fast it we believe ourselves to be going possibly i'm not really sure i'm not really sure how we can know the speed uh without some sort of mod to the game and i was really hoping not to have to use mods to get other game data i was really hoping to be able to just do this completely uh with uh just the ai there we go back in back on track that's actually pretty cool like i just had to barely turn around i'm impressed I know this probably looks horrible, but at the same time, I'm uh, I'm pretty content with this. <laughs> I'm excited. I don't care what you guys are. Yeah, this is cool. So I can at least navigate this. Very nice. Very nice. Felt very well done. Frames are very slow, though. We've got, like, two point... Basically two. So almost, like, five or less... Oh, we're going to screw up here. Oh, we're done. We're dunions. No! <laughs> All right. So uh, we definitely have some things to work on. Um, mainly, it's just if it gets too fast, it doesn't take actions quick enough. So I'll have to think of a good way to handle for that because if we, if we stay at a static speed, it's actually fine. And we, we could just probably maybe make it so we are only going to press forward so many times in a row and then like cut it back so maybe like it like the last x moves are a forward release the forward or something i'm trying to think of how i would handle that to be honest i wish i could think of something good for that i don't know i'll, I'll think more on that and try to try to get something because really actually <laughs> that was performing pretty well until we got going too fast. So um, I'm pretty excited about that, that's <laughs> pretty cool. Still though, if someone can come up with a better lane finding function, um, otherwise, or to just improve our frames per second in general, um, do please share, or if you come up with some different logic or something like that, please, uh, you can also share that. I'm, but uh, I'm pretty impressed with that. I, I might even just keep building on top of that, because the next thing that we're gonna have issue with is traffic and intersections and then also maybe i'll move us to another location and see how well we work in another location besides just this one because we've kind of created everything for this area anyway that's pretty exciting our first self-driving scooter um that's pretty cool i'm very excited about that i wasn't i wasn't sure how long that was going to wind up taking especially after the last tutorial and then all of a sudden it dawns on me, hey, what if you just use whether the slopes of the two lanes, because we're almost always finding the lanes, 
It's just that uh, sometimes it's like on double sides or whatever. Cool. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Okay. So anyways, questions, comments, concerns, whatever, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you in another video.